Hello and welcome to my island workbench build. As usual I'll be building it out of pallet wood. I found it's easier just to cut through the slats, then knock the ends off. And then put the pry bar in the vise and use the pallet wood for leverage to pull the nails out. Of course there are many many ways of stripping a pallet down. One that's never mentioned is jumping in the car, going to a local DIY store and buying some 3B2 before it's made into a pallet. But there's nothing like the sense of satisfaction when you've got some free wood and a load of mess to clean up. This is my newly discovered air measuring technique. This is when you ain't got a clue how big you want some of it. I needed to notch four of the legs out so I could slot the stretchers in. I just lap jointed the cross braces onto the legs. And just kept checking it every now and again with the framing square. Then I needed to put a cross brace where I just took the notches out of the legs. This would give me sort of a housing joint to put the stretchers in. And with the housing joint it made it a lot easier to assemble anyway. I just cut the top stretcher slightly longer so I could just butt joint it straight onto the front of the frame. I wanted to put a shelf in the bottom so I had to put some support across the middle. And then I put some cleats around the inside so the, in the shelf could actually fit inside. I found some 18mm OSB down in the woodshed. It was used so I had to square all the edges up first. And then I had to notch the corners out for the legs. And because I won't use any glue, I decided to use about a million screws to screw it all in place. Then I went rummaging down in the woodshed again and found some more three quarter ply that I could use for the sides. So I trimmed them up and screwed them onto the sides. Then I wanted to put a divider in the middle. So I put some pilot holes through the OSB 
but I didn't have any plywood long enough to go all the way across so I had to use two pieces and joint them To make sure I can get plenty of screws in, I flipped it over onto its side so I could screw it from underneath. Then I thought I'd check make sure everything was level. Then I wanted to put a couple of support braces in the top, so I notched the centre divider out and cut a bit more pallet wood down so I could just screw it in to support the top. I've got the two support braces on. Now I just want to put some cleats all the way around just so I can something to screw the top into. Now I'm not one for spending money unnecessarily as you know. But I borrowed my wife's bank card and went to bought a sheet of three quarter ply. And I had to cut that down outside because it's just too big to go into the workshop. Little tip here, half, cut halfway through an eight before sheet, put a piece of timber underneath the cut, then cut through the other side. It supports it a little bit for you. I went round it with a tape measure just to make sure I got an even lip all the way around. I didn't want to drill any holes in the top, like an assembly table, but I am going to have to try and figure out some sort of clamping system for it. Then once I got it lined up, I just screwed it in place. I decided I didn't like it long ways, so I spun it round so I could have it narrow ways on. So there it is, my new island workbench. Uh, I ain't used any glue building this, so if you've noticed. Uh, I'm not 100% certain it's going to work in such a small workshop. If you've got one in a small workshop, let me know. I've always had benches running around outside uh, in all workshops I've ever had. Uh, so it's the first time I've ever had one in the centre. Uh, but it does seem to work. Uh, saying that, I am going to put some accessories on it. Uh, I noticed in on one of Dresta's many benches uh, down the back, it's got little rings for putting hammers in and things like that. Seems like a good idea. Uh, put some shelves in it, things like that. But uh, I'll update you as, as I do it. I am going to miss things like this. Because there's not enough room in here now anymore to muck about with, dog. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.